Yo, 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 what is up guys? Welcome to my McFarlane Wave 6 FNAF set review. So jumping straight to the chase, as you can see, I have almost all of the Wave 6 FNAF McFarlane sets. I'm only missing FNAF 6 Pizza Sim Show Stage with Rockstar Freddy, Rockstar Bonnie, and Rockstar Chica. Alas, me hearty. No Rockstar Foxy. So we're just gonna have to put up with these five and let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into their review. Now I did actually live stream building these on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash johnnyboxboys if you wanna go check it out. We just surpassed 100 followers. Or if you don't feel like going off of YouTube, I have a second channel, Johnny Blocks Live, where I upload all of my Twitch VODs. So if you wanna go watch it, it's also on YouTube. So, as you can see, the five I have are Repair Freddy from Help Wanted. We have Lefty's Show Stage. Um, I believe it's the Star Curtain Stage, if I remember correctly, um, from FNAF 6. We have Mango Vent Repair from Help Wanted. We have the Salvage Room with Molten Freddy from FNAF 6. And I have Grim Foxy from uh, Help Wanted as well. So let's take it. Set by set, starting off with, mm, let's start off with Lefty. Hey, go big or go home, am I right, gamer? So as you can see from this just 10 out of 10 camera angle of my desk, this is Lefty's Star Curtain stage. And honestly, it doesn't look half bad. My main problem with it is the Star Curtains themselves, because they are just straight up paper that you fold together. Sometimes they can be very annoying if you want to open them fully. They just, they want to close back up, you know, they don't want to show off Lefty, which is the main show. The Lefty figure itself is actually really, really good. My favorite thing about McFarlane is just the attention to detail that the people have over there, and of course it doesn't want to focus, god dang it camera. The detail on these guys is always incredible, and it's one of the main reasons why I just absolutely love McFarlane. Look, you can take off his head, and it's his endoskeleton. Like, Come on, that's amazing. Now I don't want to spend too much time on just one set because we have four others to go through, but it's just this this set is really good and my only problem with it again is the curtains. They can be very annoying at points, but other than that, it's a really nice set. Now the large sets such as Lefty and Vent Repair Mangle, I believe are $15 and then the smaller ones like Molten Freddy, who we will get to next, is I believe $10 and the deluxe Show stage from FNAF 6, I do not remember the price for it because I didn't see it. So as I just said, next up is Molten Freddy in the Salvage Room. Now, my main problem with this set, and it basically ruins the entirety of it, is the desk itself. Look at- oh, and there it goes. Look at this. They really couldn't get it even to the bottom of the desk? What is this? This is awful. I, I want a refund. Actually getting serious, um, again, the, the attention to detail is pretty good, especially on the cassette. It looks very, very nice. Molten Freddy, of course, is sat in a little chair right here, and the figure itself is, again, very nice. Now, I know a lot of people are upset that it's not a giant pile of wires, but honestly, I don't really mind a whole lot. The detail on the head and body are really enough, and while I do wish that it was a giant pile of wires, I don't know, I feel like that would have been difficult to put in a chair, and I don't know, maybe it just, I don't know. Honestly, I really don't mind this figure, I know a lot of people are upset, but truly, I don't care. So moving on to a similar set, we have Repair Freddy from Help Wanted. Now this one, honestly, may be the most underwhelming one here. Not saying that it's bad by any means, in fact, it has a very cool feature if you take off Freddy's head and his stomach. Look at that. It has a screenshot from the game of his endoskeleton. I mean, how cool is that? It is a sticker, um, but I, I don't mind because it gives off such detail and I fucking love it. In fact, you don't need the stomach for the set at all. You can just have it off and it looks so good still. Of course, there's a chair, which I'm pretty sure Freddy does not sit in a chair uh, in the mini game, but who cares? And then the toolbox is nothing to write home about. It's just... I mean, it's just a toolbox. Next up, we have Grim Foxy from Help Wanted. Now this one, it's gotta be one of my favorites. And if you watched my stream, you'll know that I was a little bit disappointed that these are just paper that you have to bend to make stand. But I don't know, again, the, the attention to detail is so god dang good. McFarlane, 
You're incredible. Look at Plus Trap. Look at how cute he is. Oh, it's so good. And the model of Grim Foxy. Oh my god, have you seen it? Detail is incredible. The eye socket is hollowed out. He's glowing. I mean, kind of. He has a bright orange piece for a body. But he's just, look at the detail on the stomach and on the face. Oh, it's so, it's so good. It has to be one of my favorites. And the set itself is so simple, yet with everything else, right? The, the cardboard cutouts, now paper cutouts, and the model. It just, man, it brings it all together. And it just, it looks so dang good. And I'm so happy that I have it. Because as you guys know, Corn Maze is one of my favorite minigames in Help Wanted. So I'm so glad that they made it into a set because fucking... This dude is so dang awesome, and I just love this set. Even if these are paper that you have to bend, I wish I wish that this was still paper, maybe even a sticker. I would have been fine with a sticker. Um, and you put it in like pieces that prop it up, but I don't know. Really, I don't care a whole lot now that I have it. I, I think it looks still pretty good. And last but not least, we have Vent Repair Mango, which I was very surprised to find out is actually... 3D, you know, like it it, pull, it pops out here, and there's actually a hole. Taking a look at the set itself, it is, again, very, very detailed. There's at least two or three stickers on here, as you can see, in the vent itself is a sticker, and then you also have the Squidward looking guy up here, and you have the buttons to let you know if you have a perfect 72 degrees. I don't think that this is a sticker, but you also have, if it'll focus on it, you also have the vent down at the bottom. You have a switch here, and you also have the skip dialog button here, which the fact that they included this, it just, it shows the amount of detail that they put into these sets. And then you got Mango. Now, I've heard that this model of Mango, this mold, is slightly different to the old mold, and I actually do have one, so I guess we can compare. Okay, so this is the old one, and this is the new one. I mean, I guess it looks slightly different, not by a whole lot. Um, just little perfections here and there. Again, old, new. If it is new, I really can't tell too many differences. I don't know if people are just saying it looks different, but I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't look too different. And that is all but one. Alas, again, I'm missing the deluxe concert stage from FNAF 6, but that is the majority, again, five out of six, of the Wave 6 McFallen FNAF sets. Overall, a great wave. Now, I only have three other McFallen sets besides these. I have the private room, the game area, and also the, um, oh god, what's it called? Like, the central control module from Sister Location. And I don't know what people think of McFallen, but I really, really like the sets that they make. Again, the detail that they put into them is just incredible, and... Okay, it's just freaking, it's freaking great. I love them so much. I remember they released um, a early copy of the FNAF 1 show stage set, and like, they got so much criticism for it, and then they fixed it. So you can tell that they actually do care about the detail that they put into the sets, which I appreciate that so much, which is very, very poggers. So that's it. I'll be covering this baby soon if that video is not already out yet. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.